Good morning. Today I'm going to be making coffee with the Sunbeam CA30 Coffee Master. This coffee maker was given to me by an old friend. That's not actually true. Um, they're not really a friend, but they are old and they were the original owner. Um, she was actually my boss for the past 20 years, so I guess I guess we're friends, kind of. But she was a mean boss. But she gave me this. So that's nice. It's a vacuum type coffee maker. And first made its debut in the late 1940s. And still considered today to make one of the best cups of coffee. The uh, inherent problem is, over time, this gasket, which separates the uh, upper part, the reaction chamber with the server, hardens. And if the product is together, you will not be able to pull them apart. If it's separated, you will not be able to, to get them together. And these, these coffee makers are considered quite collectible because they, um, one, they, they have an, an awesome... Uh... So today, hopefully, I'd like to demonstrate that the CA30 coffee maker from the 40s does in fact work, and that we can uh, put together the upper and lower halves and pull them apart with some degree of ease and then enjoy a delicious cup of coffee. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill our coffee bottom part, the um, server, with water. And from what I understand, these are the uh, markings. This is two cups, four cups, eight cups. I don't really have anybody to drink eight cups or even two cups, but we'll demonstrate it with uh, four cups. We'll fill the water up to this line Next, we'll put the coffee in our reaction chamber, and this is the filter that comes with it. Um, from what I understand, earlier models had a cloth filter, which you know deteriorated over time. But this is a like a micro metal micro screen filter, which just needs to be cleaned, so that has a lot longer longevity. So that just inserts into here, and it hooks on here in the back. I guess at this point, we'll go ahead and connect our two pieces. We got them together. Let's add the coffee. So we'll add about four spoons. Alright, so we've added our coffee grounds and we'll put the lid on. Make sure it's set to high. From what I understand, the uh, it's all automatic from here. We'll plug it in and this will do all the work. The, uh, the vacuum system will, will suck the water up to the top, agitate with the uh, coffee grounds, and when it's done, the water will flow back to the bottom. And this supposedly is supposed to switch to low when it's done. Okay, so now we'll, we'll wait for the coffee. One of the biggest thrills you'll get from your Sunbeam Coffee Master is the comments you'll get from your friends. They'll want to know how you make such a delicious cup of coffee every time. When you tell them the secret of the Sunbeam Coffee Master, they too will want one. Actually, I just read that from the, uh, the manual I found online. That sounded pretty good. Whoa! Sounds like a rocket ship about to take off. And if you notice, the uh, switch switch to low. That must mean our coffee's ready. All right, the real test now is to see if we can pull these two halves apart. With 
without uh, scalding ourselves with hot coffee. Wow, that came apart with the uh, ease actually. Take the top part here, insert it into the server, and now let's pour our coffee. That is delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration of the Sunbeam C30A Coffee Master. It's been a pleasure. And until next time.